I think it time we nettled in the affairs of Porky Civilization, everyone, aka we should probably produce some more Hamlet guides because bloody heck, we only have six of the suckers and three of them are character guides. But before we get into anything, we gotta know that time is of the utmost essence in Hamlet at every waking moment. So these guys are going to be very tip heavy as you might be able to do something while someone else can't because of world gen, player experience, all that nonsense. So it's really important that you pay attention, take notes, and then choose how to approach each scenario yourself. But nettles themselves, though, are essential to fighting hay fever come lush season. But the only way we are finding them is through some jungle diving. Nettle vines only grow on deep rainforest turf, without, of course, some player intervention, which we'll talk about later. But while World Gen will have its way, meaning you might get a lot or you might get bupkis, we can always expect two big bunches of the special plant on the Pugilus Island. Island, along with a few stragglers dotted here and there. The Pugilist Island is the island with a fountain of youth, mind you, aka the island reachable through the ruins that look like this. So, if you truly wish to prepare for hay fever and thus lush season as soon as possible, this is the island that is your destination. But heck, even the first island should provide plenty nettles, especially if you're not going to concern yourself with making them in your base or a sprinkler but again we'll talk about that soon now there has been something i've been doing quote unquote wrong with nettles and it's kind of the reason why i've made this guide first and it's simply my refusal to harvest them even when they are not fully grown my advice don't do that Nettles have four stages of growth and must be quite wet to reach that fourth stage, which takes a lot of time and that's really only ever happening come humid season to begin with. But I've recently begun to ask myself, why wait? Especially when we can avoid having to avoid the bloody bothering beetles and the fact that there's just a simpler option. So honestly, here's this whole video in one segment. Harvest nettles as soon as possible, or of course, at your convenience. Hopefully find some deep rainforest, either near water, or honestly, perhaps not even, and then simply wait for the downpours of humid season to collect the spoils when it's time it seems very obvious yes however if you're like me like i know many of you are you try to make things way too complicated through either wanting to make a nettle area in your base itself thus wasting prime opportunity and plenty of time at the beginning of your hamlet worlds or by simply waiting to harvest them throughout humid season to just get two birds one stone aka the vine and the nettle itself but i have found both of these to be completely foolish. This is just way easier to do, far more efficient, and can be done as you go about your business. You're not wasting time, you're using your time to your advantage. Trust me, I've tried to do it the other ways. This way is just the best option. Oh, and don't forget a lightning rod because you'll regret it if you do. But what do I mean by making my own nettle farm in my own base? Well, that would be a one to two step process if you choose to go down that path, folks. But first, come lush season, you will begin to notice some new icons and or flora popping up on our maps. These are called Bramble Blooms, and there will be seven total spawning randomly each lush season across every island. So yes, have fun locating them. Do so though, kill them without getting pricked too much, and then get rewarded with what is called a Bramble Ball. And these can be used for a couple neat little things. However, as far as we're concerned today, we're after a piece of specific turf. Dense turf, that is. And this stuff is the only other turf in which nettle will bloom. Therefore, it is essential to making our own nettle areas where we choose. And, you know, I guess said out loud, it sounds simple enough, and I can't blame you for thinking that. But think about this, having to wait for every lush season and then maybe not even getting enough bramble balls to make enough dense turf to make a big enough area for your nettles. Sounds like a whole thing, isn't it? And yes, 
it is. However, if you do manage to get all seven and then make all seven turfs a couple times over, then more power to you. But having tried it myself again, I could say option one is far superior. But what if we do want to continue down that path, Beard, or just eventually get to a nettle farm in base? Fair question. And that would bring up part two of this two-step process. We need a sprinkler. However, the resources needed for one may elude us. So, hopefully, the BFB delivers a blue gem with one of its petrified eggs, or we can go down into a cave cleft to mine some stalagmites. And as for the alloy, you may need to invest again into a smelter and use your iron to get a couple bars of it. However, the sprinkler itself is exactly that a sprinkler. However, it must be near water in order to operate. But when I say near water, you got quite a lot of range to work with, as you can see here. So place it down where you can or choose to, plant your nettles in and around it, and then just sit around and get wet. You will certainly need to refuel it a couple times in order for the nettles to truly grow, and you should really try to stay on top of that as often as you can to be as efficient as possible but now you don't really have to wait for a specific season to go and collect your prize which is wonderful now nettles themselves do not spoil which should always be used to your advantage when it comes to lush season prep and they ain't bad little healers when you first look at them but that is not their purpose nettles alone though will negate the effects of hay fever for 200 seconds per munch while nettle rolls a crock pot dish that requires at least three nettles and probably a twig will up that to 720 seconds and in lamest terms, one and a half days. Absolutely lovely, especially given the stat regens of them too. But one last tip before we go, and it is also something that I have never done across any of my guides ever, but it kind of makes sense to mention now. You could very well turn off these jungle floor ferns in your world generation settings. They're there for aesthetics and aesthetics alone. And while I personally am against the change myself, I can truly understand how bloody annoying it can be to just find suitable areas to work with regards to nettles. So the choice is yours. But there you have it, everyone. A short guide on nettles in Don't Starve Hamlet. And my advice is as simple as it came across. If you can, transplant as many nettles as you can to a rainforest location of your choice and just wait till humid season to collect them. It is truly the simplest yet best plan to have. Until, of course, you are ready to work towards having them in your base with the sprinkler and the like. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.